Hi, I'm Joe Harrison, Senior Technical Support Specialist with Energy Kinetics. Thank you for joining today's discussion on low temperature venting of oil-fired equipment with polypropylene. We will review the challenges facing our industry with regards to venting and explain how dilution air venting will help us overcome commonplace chimney issues. This will allow oil-fired equipment to better compete with high-efficiency gas-fired equipment. Defective or inadequate chimneys are common problems encountered when upgrading equipment in oil-heated homes. Installation of a stainless steel chimney liner could easily cost two to three thousand dollars. This could open the door to possible fuel switching and other types of appliances not needing a chimney. Low-cost plastic venting has been used in the gas heating industry for years, giving gas an advantage. The lower installation cost of today's dilution air vented oil equipment can make oil competitive in these applications. When using a chimney, the flue gas temperature must be high enough to provide adequate draft and prevent condensation in the chimney. The accepted minimum flue gas temperature is 325 degrees, which gives enough heat to keep the chimney working properly. To raise the efficiency of oil-fired equipment, the stack temperature needs to be lowered. This is where an alternative to using a conventional chimney becomes a necessity. The stainless steel liner is not a good solution as it still needs at least 325 degrees to operate properly and is not rated for positive vent pressure. The direct vent option uses the burner fan for both intake and exhaust and runs at positive pressure, which means the entire boiler and vent system needs to be perfectly sealed for the life of the appliance for safe operation. Take a look at these two chimneys, both having the same problem. The water line from condensation within the flue is clearly visible and damage to the chimney and house is already underway. This is what can happen when the chimney is damaged or not constructed properly and it provides a good example of what might happen if appliance stack temperatures are consistently below 325 degrees. The challenge is to remove the barrier of a costly chimney upgrade and provide a solution that keeps an oil tank in place to prevent fuel switching. So how do we raise the efficiency on oil-fired boilers to over 90 AFUE and make them competitive with high efficiency gas equipment? We lower the boiler breach temperature by adding additional flue passage length to the boiler, then use dilution air venting to lower the stack temperature without condensing. While still using conventional oil burners and existing technologies, we can use polypropylene for venting and achieve over 90 AFUE. We can avoid the PVC mistake that the gas industry made and use a material that is tested and rated for reliable, safe, long-life flue gas venting. Dilution air venting has been used in the gas industry for decades and it enabled high efficiency, non-condensing, lower cost equipment installations. Flue gas is mixed with cool dilution air, drying out the byproducts of combustion so the mixed exhaust gas exits cooler and drier. Energy Kinetics has been using dilution air venting since 2011 with the 90 plus Resolute oil boiler utilizing outside air for both combustion and dilution. Flue gas leaves the boiler under 250 degrees. It enters a fan that is integral to the boiler and exits between 100 and 150 degrees. The vent fan has proving switches and a temperature limit switch to ensure safe operation. Dilution air technology allows real efficiency gains using proven and industry standard burners and boiler components. It also allows very stable and clean light offs through continuous operation, through high and low draft conditions, and in cold and warm climates with low and high humidity conditions. The dilution air venting allows the burner to operate far better than venting with a power vent fan, and ultra low sulfur fuel means the particulate emissions are virtually eliminated. Here is an example of using the wrong materials to vent a boiler. These gas boilers are improperly installed. Notice the discoloration of the PVC vent pipe. This shows more evidence that polypropylene is the correct choice for venting high efficiency heating equipment. 
Centrotherm manufactures the InnoFlu brand of polypropylene, which is the only brand listed for use with oil flue gas. It is tested and approved for temperatures of up to 248 degrees Fahrenheit. InnoFlu is a single wall gasketed vent pipe which is connected with locking rings. The 87 degree elbows are at a pitch which maintains the proper 1 quarter inch per foot requirement and the vent lengths are true effective lengths. There are no glues or primers and it is quickly and easily cut and deburred. InnoFlu Flex is the material used for vertical venting in a chase. You can see here the appliance is using sidewall intake air and the flex vent is used in the chase. The alternative method to provide intake air is to install a second flex liner in the chase terminating under the chimney cap. The most popular termination options include the chimney topper, low profile sidewall vent hood, and snorkel vent. The low profile termination must be installed one foot above the anticipated snow level. The snorkel and chimney topper require the use of an internal tee with cap to collect rainwater or possible condensation. The air intake can be accomplished using either PVC or polypropylene. Energy Kinetics boilers have a 50 foot maximum equivalent vent length allowance using the 5 foot per elbow rule. The actual temperature in the vent pipe will be 100 to 150 degrees. This is the recommended installation when using the chimney as a chase. Notice the internal T with cap. Typically no drain is required as rain or minimal flex vent startup condensation will evaporate on the next cycle. The Energy Kinetics Dilution Air Venting lineup includes the 90 Plus Resolute, the Resolute RT, and the Ascent Plus Combi. Energy Kinetics has long-term proven performance with dilution air since 2011 and with polypropylene since 2014. The Resolute RT represents the next generation of the Resolute 90 Plus boiler with a sleeker look and updated dilution air exhaust fan. The Ascent Plus is the dilution air vented version of the Ascent Combi heat and hot water boiler. When you compare this non-condensing oil-fired equipment that is operating over 90% efficiency to a modulating condensing gas boiler, we have an advantage because we do not rely on flue gas to condense for increased efficiency. The annual efficiency of the 90 plus Resolute and Resolute RT is several points higher than ModCon gas boilers due to our low mass and thermal purge design. Flue temperatures actually have to be even lower to produce any meaningful condensation in the field. For example, a condensing natural gas boiler running at 30% excess air will have virtually no condensation with 120 degree flue temperatures, even though this chart indicates condensation will occur at 130 degrees. This means that the non-condensing low mass 90 plus Resolute and Resolute RT with over 90 AFUE and thermal purge can easily run at much higher annual efficiency than even the highest AFUE rated natural gas condensing boilers. The 90 plus Resolute seen here uses the same draft fan from our sidewall power venting system mounted on a stainless steel T. Have you ever used primary secondary piping for a boiler? This is very similar to that type of technology. You can see the two T's are closely spaced together. The draft fan can move 1.5 to 2 times the amount of air as compared to the burner fan. The flue gas is injected into the flow of the outside dilution air to provide cooler and drier exhaust gas suitable for polypropylene venting. This is the second generation dilution air venting used on the Ascent Plus and Resolute RT. It's the same technology as the 90 plus Resolute that has been in service for many years with thousands of units in the field today. Flue gases are hot and carry a lot of water vapor. This creates a concern of the flue gas condensing. The outside air will always be cooler and drier than the flue gas. By adding the fresh air, the composition of the flue gas becomes cooler and drier, allowing it to pass to the outdoors before it condenses. These boilers are UL listed and include three pressure switches 
and a thermal switch for safety. Here are the pressure switches found on the second generation fan assembly. It includes a fan proving switch, a blocked air inlet switch, and a thermal cutoff. There is also a blocked vent switch on the boiler. This is the wiring diagram for the Ascent Plus and Resolute RT. Notice the thermal switch interrupts the TT on the burner control. The blocked vent switch is wired to the blocked vent terminals on the Carlin 70200 oil burner control. If this switch opens, the primary control screen will display a blocked vent condition, aiding in service diagnostics. The fan prover and blocked inlet switches are wired in series with the CAD cell I circuit. If the fan prover fails to close or the blocked inlet opens, the burner will go into lockout. The 90 plus Resolute uses similar switches except each one is separate. Here is the fan prover switch mounted to the back of the energy manager. The 90 plus Resolute blocked intake switch is mounted in the air box and the blocked vent switch is mounted under the burner. The 90 plus Resolute safety wiring is similar to the second generation boilers with just a couple of differences. The fan prover is wired in series with the burner motor orange wire and is normally open. It will close when the fan starts. The temperature switch is mounted on the exhaust T and interrupts the TT on the oil burner primary control. The remaining two switches are normally closed and wired in series with the CAD cell. Thank you for taking the time to watch our presentation on venting oil-fired equipment with polypropylene. As you can see, dilution air venting will allow oil heat to compete with high-efficiency gas equipment now and in the future.